This is code.org, and we're going to investigate and modify. Run the program to observe the, the results. Then experiment with the program by making the following modifications. Change one line at a time, then run the program after each change to observe. All right, so line 12, we're going to change the result. Ah, so we're going to change this from first event to third. Let's hit run again. This is very similar to what we've seen. Yep, these are equal because if you look at our assignment here and here, All right, so notice, guys, we're doubling up. We have a string called first title, and we have an event. So we're looking at strings and the events. All right, so I changing, I need to change this to third event. Boop. And let's see. Ooh, it does not like that. Oh. That's better. We got to compare events. False. And these aren't going to be equal, right? This is similar to what we've seen because first event and second event are the same, but this is an entirely different one. All right, now what are we going to do? Uh, first event dot equals. Okay. True. And so let's see what this is doing under event equals. Ah. So all this does, guys, yep, we're just looking at the names. So it says, is this current object's name, which is a, yep, event name, the same as the other one. So as long as they're both called prom, they'll be equal, even if this is a million to one. All right. In event.java, look at equals method. What do you notice? Try changing the condition to compare capacity. Okay. Uh, get... And this will flip it because capacity is different for these. Oh. Boom. And there we go. So flipped capacity and it's false because, well, capacity is different. Cool. Onward. 